reporting live from the Baina Group Stadium, and uh, it's looking, it's looking eventful. So, uh, there's an atmosphere, there's a band in the bandstand, and uh, we're looking to have a good day. Follow us. Get the shovel out, get the shovel out, get the shovel out, get the shovel out, get the shovel out. Ooh, now, now we'll back, now we'll back, now we'll back, now we'll back. Woo! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Welcome to The Beautiful Game, a series where we travel to various lower league clubs to really see if we can find The Beautiful Game. Another game, another league. This time we're in East London. Yes, we have our belongings closely nicked beside us as we venture into League 2 to watch the mighty O's take on Colchester. And today, it's Leighton Orioles, one of the most historic yo-yo clubs in the Football League. And today we're going to go check out what the O's have got on the go. Hopefully we see some goals, hopefully it's not like Dagenham. Dagenham had a few black C words that have been thrown around. This is League 2 this time. And hopefully League 2 is League 1 to us. Or League 2. Who knows? Come, let's go. And just like that, another beautiful game journey commences. See, we didn't want to make the same mistake as last time. And as the old saying goes, hungry minds make bad decisions. So we thought, let's pop around the corner, get some food in our belly and kick it off. Salt bay. Didn't you get in there? I thought you said you were cool. Yeah. You take someone to enjoy football, you know, have pre, -fat, pre -fat snacks, meals and that. And all you get out of it is a... Uh... There's sauce too. It's cool, man. It's cool. Don't mind it, innit? Even the YGs are there, hell of this lad. It's wild. But it's cool. I guess um, when you're from Africa, I know about starvation. So, it's fine. I don't know what part of Africa he's from. And I know his mum. So he's obviously You're gonna have to bring this He's obviously capping for the internet because his mum always had a plate for him. <laughs> he always had a plate for me, so she must have left him starving if he weren't eating. <laughs> yes, I can confirm my mum always had a plate for me, but on this occasion Rome's left me starving. But unlike those chips we had, I wasn't too salty. See I think I made a critical error today though. I can't lie, um, uh, obviously I don't think I wore the right attire this time round. It is not as cold as it was at Dagenham, but I braved out only a jumper today. Yeah, let's go. So off we go to the stadium. The stadium is quite uniquely tucked away in a residential area. Yo, practicing my geezer will take the back. So I had a little step on my hands. I'm dressed appropriately today. I feel good. I just ate. I'm ready, I'm in a good mood, you know, I'm ready to watch some football. We didn't get to find a pub today though, which is unfortunate. Oh, hopefully we find a local though, because we're about 10 minutes walk right now from, from the actual stadium. So hopefully we find a little local, see what it's about, because I'm not going to lie. I'm not, you know what, I'm going to save my opinion until later. What Rose was alluding to there was the racism witness of the Dagenham game previously. And since this isn't a Dagenham episode, we thought why put it down on affairs. So with that in mind, we found the stadium. I thought to sprinkle in a little bit of trivia for the football nerds out there. Bit of a weird stadium this is. So if you look at it, look, 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 look this way. It looks like flats, isn't it? I can literally see the fucking stands, yeah. like a bit of the stands. Yeah, but behind, but behind these things there, obviously you've got, got the stadium. This is, this is their stadium. Really, really strange. And I think in here somewhere, Oh, we might take, we might oh there's be, Fed. Yeah. Oh, is there, oh yeah, of course there's Fed, of course, because this is this East London, you know what I mean? <laughs> but in here somewhere though, um, I know there's a big statue of a guy called Laurie Cunningham. Truick. Regis turning it inside. Here's Cunningham. Yes! Oh yes! 3-2, Laurie Cunningham. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but a little bit of footballing history. He was uh, an early pioneer for black footballers. Uh, I uh, ended up playing for Real Madrid, if I remember correctly, and uh, this is where it all started for young Laurie. So, uh, big up him. Died in a car crash, though, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see if we can find the statue. So, the search for the Cunningham statue was on, but Rome had something very important to say. Bro, when I kept hearing you the whole week, the whole week going, come on, you O's, come on, you O's. 
fucking, I misheard you. I thought we was gonna get some bitches. <laughs> you were saying O's, I thought you were saying hoes. <laughs> I don't know if I don't think we're this Yeah, yeah. Is, this, this is a, is a kid show. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll try to beep that out. But for the adults, you know what I mean, didn't ya? <laughs> So I decided against removing Rome's profanities because eff them kids like Michael Jordan said but we managed to find the statue and add a little bit of light entertainment to supplement us. I must say, low key, these guys are rocking out. And it turns out this is actually a song by Neil Young called Rocking in the Free World, and has absolutely nothing to do with Leighton Orient. Nevertheless, they were still rocking out. After a quick little mini side shoulder lead, it was probably time we got into the stadium for the action, the real cock and ball situation that we're here for today, the football. And we're kicking off the footballing journey. It's only totally right we start from the point. Huh? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Pardon me? Ah, oh, don't drink. <laughs> it's only been since New Year, so I'm doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. They say January is the hardest month. Exactly. Doing all right. I was actually in a club last night and I didn't drink. Ah, that's probably testing you though, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. I'm proud of myself. He's taking a piss. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to get there. I don't understand. It's like, look at me on my high horse. Yeah, you don't drink. I'm yakking. <laughs> nice £4.40. Slightly more expensive than Dagenham, but you know what? For the, for the, nice, for the lovely joke we had with the, um, the bar lady. Have a little turn around. Have a little look. There's a little bit more atmosphere in here. Vibes. Vibes. It's definitely more football. I, I get the feeling that people here aren't as racist as Dagenham. No one was looking at us when we came down, so... That one's really set our barrier low for <laughs> what we need to do, what we ask for from a football club. This is vibes, I'm liking this one. Listen, I haven't seen so many whiteheads since I looked in the mirror this morning, but, but, it's good whiteheads. There's a vibe, everyone's being friendly. You know what I'm saying? Pint done, now with just a few minutes to spare, we thought best to get over to our seats for the kickoff. Look at the balcony there, you'd literally never have to buy a single ticket. Obviously, you're not really a fan. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. If, if that was my yard and I was sitting on the balcony, I wouldn't be standing on the balcony though. I'd, oh wait, no I don't. That's the barbecue though. That's actually a good one. Lucky guy, free season tickets. Free season tickets. Oh, listen, hopefully it's worth the season ticket. We don't know yet. Good stadium, good vibes. Colchester's going for it. to be here. These men are being paid to do this. They're being paid to do this. And as the Romans say, let the games begin. Both teams came into the game with an air of anxiety, with Colchester rooted to the bottom of the table and later Norrie in the winning game in over two months. You know what was really nice just now? Um, they had a knee before the game started, obviously for racism and that. Like the whole stadium clap, you know, in support of racism. Whereas, again, I dag them, it's a completely different story. You could sense the unease in the air, with each pass gripping the crowd in a chokehold like a nightclub bouncer after you've had one too many. Unfortunately, this air of unease wasn't going to change for the Mighty O's, with the boys of Colchester rushing off to a one goal lead after some stellar wing play. 1 0. Yeah, I think it might be um, a club owners of these clubs, you know. 
Well, mate, you said that it's been going on for like a month straight, so it can't be us. Uh, <laughs> or it's just <laughs> straight. Play COVID, must have job on garbage. You're building some duty. Great fans. Great fans. <laughs> Very accommodating to the blacks. Very accommodating to the blacks. Must say, feel at home. Don't feel like I'm going to get jumped if you guys lose. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been here for about 100 years. Been at this stadium for about 100 years. The stadium's been here since 1890. The team's been about since 8081. Waiting for the great leap forward. Don't Our give club. It share, they give it to them. Come on, on now! It's been time for my favourite part of the game. The spoon. Let's get it. You know you have to get a pie, right? <laughs> so take me through today's choice. Huh? Today's choice is the same as every choice we're going to have. Unfortunately, we made our choice when we started this journey. So, as you can tell, same sauce as last time. Burger sauce, uh, American, American mustard. Actually, this one was 450. 450, good size. Let me, let me get a bite going. I'm going to go from the sauce to Sam. Solid seven. Solid seven. Yeah. Mm. Got a steak and kidney pie once again. English classic. How much? Uh, £3.50 this time round. So, um, not bad, not, not bad. bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. First so, bite. Let's see what the first bite's like. Oh, that's a lot of pastry. <laughs> Is it hot? Just so crisp. Well, all we know for a fact is I won't be able to taste it because it's just absolutely great steak baked meat. The top of my mouth is burning. A lot of pastry, but to be fair, that's juicy, bro. Go on. Let's try again. Yeah, yeah, have a, have a proper bite. No, that's good, that's good. That is good. Uh, 10? Mm. I'm also I'm giving that an 8. An eight? An eight, yeah. That's a solid eight. Good price. Yeah, good price. Look, good at, price, that. Yeah. Look mm. at that. Look at that. Look at that juicy, that. Juicy. Okay. A couple of cappuccinos. And you know, you know, with this one here, the pastry ratio is perfect. I have to say, this is, this is good, bro. Food done. Now it's back to the action for the second half. But before the second half kicks off, we thought to chop up with the fans and see what they think about their club. Excuse me, guys. Any goal predictions? Um, game prediction? Our goal. Yeah. You think we're going to score a goal? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure, really. No? <laughs> okay. At the moment, it's not looking like it. No. And you seem to be a diehard O's fan, and this is coming from you? Yeah, could you uh, edit this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the O's second half went the same way as Raxi's pulling prowess in the nightclubs. Always flirting, but never scoring. A massive credit has to be given to Colchester however, for defending as if their lives depended on it. Yes, they are sitting at the rock bottom of the football league, but they played like a team that wants to be there forever, and that I tip my hat to. Ultimately, the O's were all bark and no bite, and the dogged defence of Colchester helped them see through a 1-0 victory. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are your ratings on this game? All in all, wait. Do you want all in all? I want the all in all. All in all, I'll give it a solid day. Solid, solid day, okay. Atmosphere from outside. Atmosphere from outside, bang it. Colchester has made us look like fucking idiots, I can't lie. Uh, first, first half, Orients weren't really putting their heart into it. Second half, more of it was coming. Colchester would just bang on it. Key glocks. Yeah, number 17 for Colchester, someone to look out for. Um, yeah, food, decent, uh, atmosphere. Okay, food, I said 7 out of 10. Atmosphere, solid 8 out of 10. Um, kit for, for Lincoln Orient, I did it a 6, solid 6. The whole experience, 8 out of 10, solid. Solid, solid. Brilliant, 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 love it. I know um, I 
know Orient just got slapped around, but what the fuck does that have to do with Mason Greenwood being a sex offender? Well, because he's a sex offender. Did you not hear the chant? I heard the chant, but <laughs> Mason Greenwood is a sex offender, though. He is a sex I'm not. I'm not wait, 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 wait. Let me get this on the record. I'm not defending him, and yeah, it is what it is for yeah. him. Always in our shadows. Getting a bit ropey now, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, get, it's, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit. I'm gonna get my keys and walk up. Yeah, fuck off. We lose every week! You're nothing special! We lose every week! On that lovely note, it's probably a perfect time to call it a day. Coach United 1, letting Orient nil. Thank you very much for joining us on this beautiful game journey. If you liked what you saw, please do the youtube -y stuff, like, share, subscribe and all that. But for now, I've got some Henny in the back that's still waiting to get sipped up. So with that in mind, till next time kids.